Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be talking about unpersonalized learning and it's a little bit controversial what I'm going to be talking about but I'm going to share some research and give some rationale in why I think we should unpersonalize learning in the online environment and when we're using any AI tools. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts about unpersonalized learning then please keep on watching. Recently, I shared some of the ideas from my book, AI Powered Pedagogy, in an AI summit for Toddle. And I talked about this idea of unpersonalized learning and the idea that personalized learning is not actually our goal when we're using any kind of AI tool. So let me just make myself a little bit smaller and then explain what I mean. In my book, I talk about using AI beyond the mere use of AI for the personalization of learning. So what was the goal and the aim of my book? The book aims to give everybody a framework and actionable strategies for harnessing AI to enhance learning experiences, moving beyond the mere use of AI for personalization of learning which I think, in my personal opinion, is just glorified individual transmission of knowledge. A lot of the time, personalized learning involves one-to-one -one learning with a computer, and there is no communal learning or collaborative teamwork involved. And so what ends up happening with personalized learning is it becomes an individual transmission of knowledge. Now, my thinking of personalized learning has actually evolved. I used to talk about really trying to encourage personalized learning. Personalized learning for me is really about helping each student make progress in their own learning journey, but in a community of inquirers, in a community of learners, still promoting and encouraging that teamwork and collaboration. And so while AI is often used for personalized learning and there is a place for it at times, I believe it's important to focus on how AI can develop essential human qualities such as creativity, curiosity, and wonderment while fostering a sense of community among learners. So we don't want students to be working individually and learning individually from a computer we want to encourage that socialization. We are naturally born as social beings and we want to encourage a social constructivist environment as much as possible, honoring prior knowledge and understanding and then using that as a springboard. So I wanted to share some thoughts from Dr. Philippa Hardman. She's a learning scientist from Cambridge University and she reported some studies about unpersonalized learning. So intentionally unpersonalized communal learning experiences lead to positive social, psychological, and academic outcomes for students. And another bit of research she shared was that students who feel socially connected in their learning environment, they report higher levels of learning and persistence in coursework. So students come to the classroom so that they can be socially connected and be part of a community. And another piece of research Dr. Hardman has shared is learning communities would provide shared experiences and mutual engagement contribute to positive social academic outcomes. And I want to share a direct quote from Dr. Hardman from her blog article, which I will link in the comment section below. And she says, while one-to-one -one tutoring tools like these will no doubt have some value for some learners in some contexts, we should not let our fascination with personalized learning blind us to two important things. So what are those two blind spots that she talks about? One of them is the shortcomings of personalized learning for some learners. So for example, less confident learners or learners from more communal centered cultures. And another blind spot is the benefits of alternative pedagogical approaches and the opportunity offered by AI to scale access to these alternatives. So what are those alternative pedagogical approaches to personalized learning? I talk about them in my book, AI Powered Pedagogy. And the first pedagogical principle is inquiry-based learning and really encouraging our students to ask questions, to explore, to investigate and foster a deep understanding, a deep conceptual understanding. Now, another pedagogical principle is concept-based learning. So teaching and learning is really focused on helping learners build the foundational facts and skills as a gateway to develop their own conceptual understanding. 
The next pedagogical principle is to be inclusive and equitable. So we design and plan, account for the needs of our di neurodiverse learners and those from diverse backgrounds, ensuring equitable access for all. So that means differentiation as well as UDL, so removing barriers for any learners. The next pedagogical principle is about collaboration and personalized learning does not necessarily allow for collaboration and teamwork. So we want learners to be immersed in a social constructivist environment where prior knowledge is used as a springboard. And what is another alternative pedagogical principle besides personalized learning? That we focus on a learner-centered and learner-driven environment. So learners are at the core of education with tailored experiences, enhancing engagement by empowering them to shape their own learning. But in a collaborative environment, I have to stress. And lastly, that learning is evidence. So we have evidence learning. That means we collect both qualitative and quantitative data. And we collect this continuously to evidence learning, which is used to inform our teaching and provide feedback to our learners. So there are some of my ideas about unpersonalized learning. I'm not saying that there's not a place in time for personalized learning, but we don't want that to be the sole strategy of how students make progress in their learning journey. We have to take into consideration inquiry-based learning, encouraging teamwork and collaboration, helping students to arrive at their own conceptual understanding in a communal environment, and not always encouraging that one-to-one -one tutoring model, that adaptive model. So thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time. Bye.